I've been asked if my power pickups for the trains will work with power ups systems. So let's dig down into the abyss of Lego sets. Open one up and get one of our battery packs because we are going to rip this apart to salvage it for testing. Now the first thing we got to do is we got to get the uh, control board out of the battery box. So we take the battery box apart, pull the control board out, and once you get that control board out, you have two metal tabs that stick off the very end of that control board. And one will be labeled positive, as I'm trying to show you kind of here in this image. And what we're going to do is we are going to remove both of these metal pins, and we're going to solder on a full wave bridge rectifier. You're going to put the positive in the side that's marked positive, and you're going to put the negative on the side that is marked negative. Now we got to solder up our power functions cable to the full wave bridge rectifier. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the outer two sets of wires and solder them to the inner two sets of wires that are the input for the full wave bridge rectifier. To try and explain the bridge rectifier a little bit better, again, you can see a positive and a negative. So this one goes in the positive of the board. This side goes in the negative of the board. And then those center two plugs, I, I put the, these are the outputs. The center two are the inputs. The inputs are what you're going to hook to your, whichever plug you want to use, but I use the uh, power functions. You're going to hook it to the power functions plug and you're going to use the outer two most pairs of wire. So one pair will go to one of these wires, the other pair goes to the other lead on this bridge rectifier. Now that I've made this, we're going to go test it. Excuse my pig pin from all my experimentations, but let's take the power. I'm going to leave this over here so you can see the power comes on. And now it doesn't matter which way I put the controller. We just have to make sure we have it on full power. Um, I guess we'll leave it that way. It really doesn't matter. Okay, we have the power on over there, and I just want to show you. This is my little, I'm going to call it my test engine, if you will. Um, but anyway, that is a power-ups plug on that motor. And then this is one of my four-wheeled power pickups, and I have the power functions plug on that. So now we're going to hook up our uh, newly modified power-ups adapter. Let's get that over there. Now we're going to take and hook this to that so that way we got power coming in. Put that down on the board and then now we want to plug the power ups plug. And I don't use any of this Bluetooth stuff at all so uh, I don't know if it matters which one I put it into but we'll put it into that plug and then we are going to set it here. and. Now, before I do anything else, the next thing we need to do is we got to turn on the phone. Once we get the phone on, we turn on that little app. It's the Lego app, so we can control it. We could also control it from this if we wanted to, but I was going to show you that it does work with the Bluetooth app on the phone. Uh, it takes a few seconds for the app to kind of power up, and then we will try and link and make sure that this actually goes together. So let's press a train. And it's looking for it. Let's push the button on the board. And I'm just waiting for it to sync up. Okay, now it's synced up. But the next thing I do want to quickly explain, I like to put a battery box on there just for weight because this is just a basic car. So uh, let's put the battery box on it and kind of tuck the wires in a little bit. I just want to show you that there's no trickery. The blue light is on the box. There is no light on the battery box, but just to show you what I mean, that would be the battery box powering it up, and it's not. We're going to turn it back off. And again, it is just there for weight. Okay, we have it on the train. Now let's experiment a little bit. Let's make sure it's going to go back and forth. I'm not super familiar with these controls. I personally... Um, Bluetooth stuff actually annoys me. <laughs> I like the hard controls. Uh, actually, I guess it's going to be this. So we're going to hit the plus and hopefully it's going to go one way or the other. Okay, it goes that way. So let's bring it back. Stop. And because I don't have that fully secured, the cable is falling around and I don't know really what to do with this because I don't have a 
fully built train, but let's see if we can't tuck this on here in some way, shape, and form that it ain't going to bump anything. Uh, there, maybe that'll be a little better. Now let's try that one more time. So again, we know the plus goes that way and the minus goes the other way. So to me, and my motor or my wheels came off. Uh, to me, it seems to be working. I'm not a hundred percent certain on how well it would work. I don't know how fast. Well, I guess it'll go pretty fast, won't it? I, I just, I guess I'm kind of curious how many people would even be interested in something like this. Uh, again, to me, I'm not a big fan of the power up stuff as far as the Bluetooth connections and such. I would much rather control it with my controller, but is anybody out there interested in this? I'm not 100% certain if this is a sellable item. It is over $70 just for me to make one of these because it is just $63 with the taxes and everything. Just to buy the battery box that I have to scavenge the parts out of. And then I still have to do the full wave, full wave bridge rectifier and I still have to put on a connector plug as well. So to me it's a rather expensive feature for people. I can tell you guys I'm really personally not that interested in... Uh, making this for sale or you know what I mean for trying to sell it to multiple people and that was part of the reason why I was trying to explain everything as much as I did as far as running uh, and I hope I did a good enough job if anybody was wanting to have this type of setup and hooked to my power pickups for 9 volt Lego track and I, that's something else I do want to point out. My track is old because this is all vintage Lego 9-volt track. The track's in very good condition, don't get me wrong. But it has been every bit of two years since it has been cleaned. And um, it may very well run this better once it's cleaned. I need to clean it thoroughly. Like I said, it has not been cleaned in a long time. And you can kind of see the tarnish that's on my track. It's probably not showing up on video so well. But something I did notice, and I have been able to do full laps around my train track, doing it with the uh, power-ups motor and everything hooked up like I have it, been able to do complete laps around my entire train display. But I have noticed when I go really, really slow, um, there are times that I'll show you, like right like that, when I get to a corner that it will just totally blip out and I don't know if it's because of how dirty my track is or because these are my test wheels um, maybe there's some dirt spots or something getting on those because I do know after these run for a while the uh, wheels start to get a little dirty but that's my opinion as to why this isn't a good setup um, using with the 9 volt train track is it possible yes but I personally don't think this is something that I want to bother manufacturing and selling. And I say that because this would be a very expensive item. I personally would not be interested in monopolizing any more of my time unless I was getting at least $150 a piece to make those myself. And that is, again, why I tried to show you how you can make it yourself um, and you don't have to deal with me at all. But... If you are someone that really wants me to do this for you, it is $150 if you want me to make it. I would have to have payment in advance so I could buy all the parts. And it would take me a little bit of time to get everything and then do it for you. But that's the only way that I am interested in making these for people to use. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.